Well, it's a great time for a very serious cause. Brothers Keeper Veteran Foundation presents the Mardi Gras Masquerade, Unmasking Veteran Mental Health on February 10th. Joining us this morning to talk about the event and the organization is group founder Chris Gathers and decorated Special Forces operator, veteran advocate, and Brothers Keeper Veteran Foundation Ambassador Lowell Coppert. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Uh, Chris, and in stereo. Uh, Chris, <laughs> this, uh, this organization, very good organization. It began from your personal experiences. Uh, tell us about the Brothers Keeper Veteran Foundation and how this all came to be. Yeah, so I'm Chris Cathers. I'm president and founder of Brothers Keeper Veterans Foundation. We're a 501c3 uh, nationwide nonprofit. And our sole focus is really to uh, curb the epidemic of veteran suicide. That's what I'm really passionate about, what we uh, tend to do. So we fund veterans treatment as long as uh, required as part of their journey of healing. And uh, yeah, so that's one of the things that I'm most passionate about. And you're helping so many veterans mm -hmm. out there. And Lowell, right. you're very involved in veteran affairs as a veterans advocate. Let's talk about how this organization just helps so many veterans throughout the area. Yeah, so uh, Chris is pretty modest. He's a former Green Beret as well. And um, that's how we got kind of linked up. Uh, we were both from the same Special Forces unit back in the day, we served separate times. Uh, but that's how we met through our service in the Special Operations community. And um, you know, Chris, Chris does a lot for the community. There's, there's a lot of organizations like this that are out there, and uh, you're very familiar with Dwight Bradham, our County Veteran Affairs Officer right. over in Aiken. And uh, the Veterans Affairs uh, Administration does a lot for our veterans. Uh, but however, it is a very large organization. Uh, there's a lot of people that go through it. And organizations like Brothers Keeper and Chris serve as that safety net for some of those folks that are struggling, that may not be getting the services that they need as quickly as they need to. Um, you know, anything with the government kind of tends to move a little slower than the private sector at times. Um, and so organizations like Brothers Keeper kind of uh, are able to do things a lot faster at times and that's where they really excel. It's a great thing that it's, it's a bit more personal, it's a bit more one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and, and you're right, Very exactly much. a great organization to have here. We're having the big event. Uh, it's coming up on February 10th at the Foundry. Uh, what's happening? The Mardi Gras Masquerade. Yeah, so uh, we are st still, unfortunately, we're still donor dollar dependent, so we have to do fundraisers throughout the year. And we do two, two big ones. We do one in Nashville, which are a gala, and this is our first attempt here to penetrate the market up here in Augusta, Georgia. So on Saturday, 10 February, we're going to be from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Foundry, as you mentioned. We're going to be doing a uh, Mardi Gras masquerade. It's a uh, Mardi Gras themed event. Mm -hmm. And we got a killer lineup, we, and we try to employ as many veterans as possible for these, uh, these, these events. And we have a really great keynote speaker, Nick Lavery. He's a uh, former Green Beret amputee above the knee, went back to active duty as a, a Green Beret, and through dive school as well with one leg. So we try to get these people that are very inspirational to come out, and uh, it's really what, what we're about. You know, we try to employ as many people as possible, have everybody have a great time, and uh, you know, we're just asking that, uh, yeah, if anybody has interest in this, please look us up, sign up. Tickets are still on sale for the next week, uh, week and a half. So I would love to see everybody come out. And did I read this right? He's the first prosthetic special forces to return to service. Yes. So he, he's a, above the knee amputee and, and he'll tell you the story. Uh, they never expected anyone to be able to come back to an ODA. So they created a uh, essentially a selection like what we normally do to get into Special Forces. They created a, uh, a selection course for him to basically retry out for a team. And he's such a stud that when he passed, they didn't expect anybody to. So they kind of came clean and said, hey, you know, uh, we don't know what to do now. Like, it's going to take us a little bit more time to get you back on a team. But he went back to a team. Uh, he's a, a warrant officer, so he is the assistant team leader of that team. Went back to Afghanistan. As Chris said, he went through dive school, which is one of the hardest schools mm -hmm. we go through as special operators. He went through it after losing his leg. Wow. So just an absolute stud, great guy. Uh, great speaker, doing a lot of great things since he's left the military, and it's it's nice to to bring guys like that in to showcase uh, not only what you can do after the military, but what you can do after a massive setback in life as well. There is a future. Yes, sir. Right. Oh yeah. man, talk there about breaking the mold. <laughs> and inspiration. This guy is too. the mold. Yeah, he's oh. 100. He is worth coming to see in in its in its entirety. Like that right there is is enough to come to this event by itself. It sure. really is. I got a little bit of chance. I know, yeah. yeah. No, I would love to hear his story. Um, your organization is here to help and let people know that they're not alone. What would you want to say to people at home 
that you know might want to get some help or might be scared to you know what what message are you trying to send yeah I think one of the one of the things from a messaging perspective that we try to push out you know um, is you know obviously resilience so we're trying to de destigmatize mental health in the community I come from a generation we both come from a generation which is different than than people growing up maybe maybe now but men didn't talk about their feelings and that really kind of prevented people from getting help and I tell people man you got to put the work in whether it's your physical body your spiritual self but also your brain and a lot of us get TBIs I've had one myself from you know uh, going through uh, IED attacks and things like that from uh, blasts uh, it's, it's pretty prevalent and they present a lot of challenges similar to PTS to folks the uh, symptoms are very similar so we, we try to encourage people to get out there and, and get after it. You know, you, you got to put the work in, um, and we're trying to encourage people to come to us and seek us out. And uh, that's one of our big messages is just, you're, it's not a show of weakness. It's actually one of the hardest things to do is to get help. And your organization is definitely a helping hand for that. Uh, again, the event is going to be on February 10th at the Foundry. BKVF.org is where you can get all the information for the event and the uh, tickets. Gentlemen, thank you for your service and appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, appreciate it.